Hey, everybody. Welcome to Real Sports Live. Happy to have you alongside. <laughs> I'm Wesley Ruff. This is the one, the only. You know him, you love him. You can't live without him. Mr. <laughs> Dana Green. Mr. Not going to lie. Yeah. Not going to lie here. Not a very exciting week for local college football. <laughs> no, BYU had a bye, as you said. Utah's game was canceled, and Utah State... They got blown out again. So, yeah, not a great week. But let's begin with the Aggies, who first lost head coach Gary Anderson last week. And now starting quarterback Jason Shelley, gone. Interim head coach Frank Miley made the announcement tonight. He dismissing Shelley for a violation of team rules. We don't know what he rule he violated, but he's gone one day after a 35-16 loss to Fresno State that dropped the Aggies to 0-4. Shelly struggled all year. Yesterday, he was 9 of 24. Aggies did start the game well there. That's Jalen Warren busting off an 86-yard touchdown run. Savon Scarver returned to kick 94 yards, his sixth career kick return for a touchdown. But the Aggies defense just got carved up by Fresno State quarterback Jake Hayner. Threw for 422 yards. More yards than Jason Shelley's thrown for all year, by the <laughs> That's way. That's not good. And four touchdowns. The Aggies did gain a season high 343 yards. But this team has just been brutal this year. So Andrew Peasley is going to take over as the starting quarterback. Wes, were you surprised to hear about the news about Shelley? Let me think. Yep. Totally. That really? just caught us out of the blue, right? I mean, we... You guys are starting quarterback. You bring him in from the University of Utah. High expectations for him, and everybody thought I, ex I thought he was going to be much better than he has been. Right. I expect him to run the ball better. I expect him to throw the ball better, but he's done neither, and I don't know what's going on, but he's gone now. Um, they said violation of team rules, but as you mentioned, we don't know what team rules he violated. Um, he did look uninter uninterested on the sidelines for the games for Utah State. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they move forward from here. Yeah, because he, they had shots of him on the sideline yesterday. He just looked – uninspired yeah. like he wasn't engaged when you look to your starting quarterback you want him to be rallying the troops he be a be, leader he should be the guy slapping he, people on the butt let's go let's he go, did let's not go. look like the leader that we thought he was going to be and he's just not completing passes yeah. at a high rate i mean 50 percent only 400 something yards for the entire year now he was the guy that gary anderson brought over they were both at the university of utah together anderson got fired last week i don't know what that did to shelly maybe he's not a frank miley guy or Maybe Frank Miley doesn't want Jason Shelley as his quarterback, but we don't know exactly what happened, but that was clearly not a good fit for Jason Shelley at Utah State. His totals re uh, resemble a, a three-quarters game for Zach Wilson at BYU, yeah, right? I mean, true. completing that many passes yards. and 420 yards, that's, that's you know, a partial game for Zach Wilson. Right. He was 121st in the nation in passing efficiency. That, that, that's not good, especially when you're coming off of Jordan Love yeah, and yeah. you go to that. Not very good, but I don't know. Can Utah State recover I, from this? 0-4, they're going to Hawaii, uh, going to Wyoming. The uh, schedule gets a little easier from here well, on out. That's what we thought after those first three games, right? Fresno's not bad. Fresno's 3-1. Yeah, and Fresno's one. good, but where, where else can you go? Yeah. You've got to, it's, it's only up from here, I would think. That I'm, you, I thought they hit rock bottom before when they let Gary Anderson go and, you know, in three games into the season, but now they're four games in the season. They've let their coach go and their starting quarterback go. So yeah. it, it can only get better. It can only get better. Right? You would think. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, they got their work cut out for them. And good luck to Andrew Beasley because yeah. this offense and defense has been struggling too. It's not just the offense. Defense giving and up a, quick, a ton of yards, ton of points. A quick turnaround too because they play on Thursday night. Oh, that's right. In Laramie. In Laramie. In November. Ooh, <laughs> the new quarterback.